So, Robert August, Quarantine Chronicles number three. Here we are in Robert's shaping room here at Witches Rock Surf Camp, where he does a shaping demo every week. A lot of people have been asking, how did you start shaping? Um, how's your process been to be to where you are today? And uh, a little bit later, we'll get into some of the tools, but if you want to talk a little bit about kind of where you started, and just to give the viewer some insight, yeah. Well, I'll make it real quick. I, I surfed from when I was a little boy. My dad was one of the original California surfer guys, so I surfed with everything. And, uh, I went to school. I went to Huntington Beach High School, major school in Southern California. Uh, there wasn't any organized surfing going on back then. Once in a while, there'd be something, and we'd have some fun, and get a little wooden trophy, and then go home. But uh, I was a student, you know, and I loved school. I was uh, a student, never missed a day in the last three years. I was a student body president at Huntington Beach High School. And, and I, you know, I had it together. I was ready, and I could go to any university I wanted to with that background. And uh, so we, right when I graduated is when Bruce Brown called me to do the end of summer. And I went, wow. Ended up being gone for eight months all over the world, and so I didn't go to school. And then uh, we did it. What an experience for a, you know, I was an 18-year-old kid. And then, uh, so as soon as I got back, I jumped into college. You know, I went to Long Beach State College because I could, it was right close to Huntington. It was easy to get into. And so I'm kind of there and just thinking about a career. And, uh, you know, I, I'm thinking about this and that. And, uh, hey, why not be a... How about, you know, be a professional and be successful? Dentist. So I thought, well, how about being a dentist? You know, that's a respected profession, and people aren't dying or anything, you know, to fix their teeth. And so I went, the guy in Seal Beach where I was living, uh, well, he, the dentist in town there, it was a small practice. I mean, everything was small back in those days, 1963, 64. And uh, so I made an appointment, and I showed up, and he said, Robert, what are you doing here? Your teeth are fine. And I said, well, I want to talk to you about being a dentist, you know? I mean, how is it? And he goes, oh, you want the truth, huh? I'm charging you for your appointment anyway. And I was like, whatever, it was like $5 back then. And so uh, he said, well, I hate it. And I'm like, what? And he says, think about it. Back then, there was no uh, Novocaine. There was no anesthesia. People were screaming and crying and their blood. And he said, you know, everybody hates going to the dentist. It's awful. And uh, he's just painting this terrible picture of it, how terrible it is, you know. And I went, wow, you know. And he goes, hey, Robert. Because by then, my movie was still playing in every theater in America. And, you know, the end of summer was everywhere. And he went, hey, let me tell you, well, I'm happiest. On Saturdays, sometimes I just go down to that surf shop that's on Main Street in Seal Beach, and I just hang out. Everybody's so happy. The energy is so positive. They're going surfing, or they just got back, or they're getting a new board. Because I just love it. I just hang out. And uh, he says that's that's where I would love to be there. And I went, wow. Who I am and my degree of surfing and being in this movie, I bet I can get a job. So I called. Him Half Jacobs at Jacob Surfboard. He was a huge manufacturer and he gave me free boards and a trip to Hawaii. Nobody was making any money back then, but hey. And I, I said, hey, I just want to be involved in the business, you know, I'll sweep the floor or do whatever. And he says, hey, how about working in the retail store, you know, where people can meet you? And it was a big retail shop in Hermosa Beach, California. And uh, I went, sure, I'll give it a shot. Boy, my dentist wasn't wrong. I, I loved it. Everybody is so positive and happy and getting a new board or getting ready to go on a surf trip, you know. It was just wonderful. And I didn't have to be at work until 10 a.m. So, hey, I could surf every day. And then he'd send me to Hawaii or wherever I wanted to go for, you know, to be in a surf video. I was in other people's videos by then. And I just went. And boy, my dentist wasn't wrong. I, I just loved going to work every day. And I got better and better at it, you know, and I wasn't making a bunch of money, but, but in the back of this retail store, there was two shaping rooms, two shaping bays where guys were shaping surfboards and, you know, being there all day long. I, I kept looking back there and watching those guys, and I'm like, oh my God, that is just amazing what they're doing there. I, I got to learn. I kept watching and 
And finally I begged and pleaded, and it wasn't easy to get into, and it's still not easy today because the material, especially this piece of foam that the blank is made out of, is really expensive. And you can't just ruin five of them and throw it in the trash and start over again. So it wasn't easy to get into, but man, I just, I did it, and I wanted it so bad, I got good at it right away. And then I got so good at it, people were asking me to personally shape their boards instead of the other guys. And uh, well, after a while, I just went, hey, why don't I just open my own business? And I did. I opened a shop in Huntington Beach, you know, right on the street. And holy cow, you know, it was great. And I never looked back. I'm, and today, I still love it. You know, I shape boards for a big giant guy or little kids, beginners. And, it's not like the same thing over and over all day long. I have to concentrate on what I'm making and what they want exactly. So, and I've been doing it for all these years. I keep track over the years. I've actually, last year I shaped my 41,000 so far. How many? 41,000. Wow. So I'm getting pretty good at it. <laughs> but I still enjoy it. I never felt like, oh God, i got to go to work today. I like it. It's still fun for me. Very cool. I remember you've told me a few times that in order to shape a board, you need a couple different uh, lighting angles to be able to get all the contours and to shape the board properly. So we'll, we'll take a look at that. You, you pretty much have to have it. If you've ever watched shaping online or whatever, you always see this lighting. It's not just a nice place to put your tools and sandpaper and everything, but it creates this, these, this lighting from the side. And look at the shadows it makes in this piece of foam. It's just so detailed. When I hold it up and look at it, I can see absolutely every little curve and thickness that there is. And I can feel it and take a look. And so you have to have this. It's just really important shaping. And uh, all the materials that we use here, it all comes from Southern California, the best in the world, US blanks, the resin, catalyst, colors, tape, everything. And our friend Curtis Custer brings it all in. He distributes all through Central America. And uh, so the finished product is beautiful. So the boards that we create here are really nice and great variety and hey, it's good exercise. <laughs> Very cool. If you see some surfboard shape and it's kind of chubby, he doesn't have much work. <laughs>